Hello and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today we're going to look at the Spark Science Learning System from PASCO and here it is. And the first thing that strikes you about this unit is it's got a very rugged design. It's got a strong um, plastic shell uh, on the back. It even has a mounting hole for uh, mounting to, uh, to rods, um, lab stands. And uh, I wouldn't have any problem at all uh, giving this unit to uh, a junior high student. Um, it's built to be uh, indestructible. It's got a really nice uh, clear, bright, um, vibrant screen. It doesn't come through on the uh, camera as well as I hope it would, but um, trust me, it's a very, very nice clear screen. It uh, ships with, uh, you get a voltage probe and a temperature probe and you also get a deep DC power supply that comes with it but um, thankfully a charge lasts for a long time on the unit and uh, you won't have to uh, plug it in very often. Now what I like to do with these um, interface systems is and since I have a, a voltage uh, a temperature probe right here let's give it the uh, intuitiveness test and uh, see if we how quickly it takes us uh, how long it takes us to do our our first experiment so what I'll just do is I'll plug in our temperature probe and you can see right off the bat we have a uh, temperature come up on the screen so I'll just select that and then I'll click show just like that and uh, then I'm gonna press the uh, green start collection button and there we are uh, we're collecting data and I'm just going to hold the end of the temperature probe here to see if we can make our data a little bit more interesting. Of course, you can see our scale on the left, totally inappropriate. It's uh, 0 to 140. So let's uh, stop collecting data right there. And uh, we'll just press the Tools button and press the Auto Scale. And there we are. That's beautiful. Um, temperature from 25 to, to 26 degrees. And we've done our first experiment. And within a minute of within a couple of minutes of having uh, opened the box so it does pass the uh, intuitive de intuitiveness test um, very nice and easy to use but uh, there's much more I'd like to tell you about the uh, about the Pasco spark so what we'll do is we'll just um, unplug that sensor and go back to our home screen nope we don't want to save that data and uh, what we'll do is we'll talk about um, some of the um, ports and, and buttons on this unit. Um, power buttons on the bottom. Uh, at the top we've got some uh, a set of ports that make a whole lot of sense. First we've got a, a USB port so you're able to plug in flash drives and save your data to there. Uh, we've also got um, two uh, PASCO sensor ports. So if you've seen these PASCO sensors before you may even own some. Um, they very, very easily plug into the um, Spark system. Just stick it right into the hole and then uh, you see, since I have the chemistry sensor plugged in, this is a multi-sensor, um, this, uh, this sensor is, uh, uh, does absolute pressure, temperature, voltage, and pH, and they all show up on the screen. So we could be using um, that sensor to record many different things with our Pasco Spark right now. So again, if you just want to take a sensor out, you just unplug it, and the, the Spark is really good about um, sensing uh, what's plugged into it. And shipping with the Spark also is a great experiment library. So if you click open, uh, you'll be confronted with a list of biology, chemistry, earth science, elementary, middle school, and physics. So if we just open elementary and do endothermic and exothermic changes and click OK, um, we'll just load up that experiment and we'll see that uh, we have a whole uh, lab with graphics uh, beautifully all set up and that's built into the Spark system. And all the student has to do to do the experiment to move forward is click through the page titles, click through the title screen. So just press um, proceed. Uh, try to do this with my big fat fingers. There we go and what um, you get is a, a question for your lab 
and also I've got to do this with my index finger actually get some progress here and then um, uh, some background information and some materials and safety information and then um, we're going to show off the ability for the student to interact with the spark here because we got an explore question if we click press on the area where we can respond we actually have a a keyboard come up and the keyboard allows us to do entry so we can just type our answers right into the screen and then click OK and move on with our lab so it's very easy for a student to do a whole lab report and collect data right within one of these pre-built experiments and Pasco has even uh, included the ability for you to uh, build these experiments yourself now the thing that should uh, probably uh, come to the question that should come to teachers minds is how can you show off what is uh, on the spark screen uh, on the uh, on your computer because you're going to want to uh, to demonstrate this stuff well Pasco's thought of that um, beautifully because if you um, take the uh, a simple USB cable and uh, a mini USB and plug it into the top of the unit what you get is a connection to the computer that is um, twofold so the first thing that you'll notice is the spark screen says um, would you like to choose the file system or would you like to choose passport interface and what that means is, is that if you choose file system uh, you will um, the the spark basically turns into a hard drive so you can um, uh, trade files between your computer and the Spark. Um, but we're just going to leave it in passport interface mode uh, because uh, what we can do then is start up, I'll just minimize this for now, and bring up our SparkView software. And what SparkView does is give you kind of a, a view of what you would see on, let's get this in the center here what you would see on the spark screen so I'll just uh, plug in a my temperature probe back in and you'll see that the temperature reading comes back up on the screen so what I can do is now work on my computer and it's just like working on the spark screen so we can collect data I'll just collect some data here so this is this would be uh, the teacher doing this on their computer and showing it on a projector or a smart board or whatever however they're projecting in front of their students and showing the experiment uh, to their to all their to all their class at once and this also gives me a little bit of an opportunity to clearly show you some more of the uh, the available tools you have in the spark software and on your spark because uh, remember we can uh, smart we can use the um, auto scale to automatically scale the data we can use the drawing tool to draw on the screen and on your spark you can just use your finger and that'll work just perfectly uh, so that's great for doing predictions uh, we can use the statistics button to do minimums maximum standard deviation area on the graph uh, we can use the linear the, the fit tool to do all sorts of fits inverse power fits quadratic fits linear fit so we'll do a linear fit on that data there we go we'll just take that off take off our drawing um, we can also and built in uh, as in a persistent menu at the top we always always have our sharing uh, button so we can uh, export the data save the files put it in our journal uh, we can even take a snapshot of the screen at any time which is great for including in a lab report so on the whole when you take a look at this um, this whole system the the, the software um, the um, the spark unit is itself which is again really rugged uh, got a great bright uh, five and a half inch screen that is is really easy to use and touch sensitive uh, the, the touch sensitivity is really nice on it good long uh, battery life easy to plug in sensors uh, I have to give this whole system uh, five stars out of five it's uh, quite an Im impressive unit and uh, I would I would wholeheartedly recommend it so thank you very much 
for viewing this digital lesson.